Hi guys, I'm Shmi. Hello and welcome back to the channel where you join me today for a very, very special visit. We're here in Boca Raton, Florida at the Patina Collective. This is a rapidly expanding collection currently at 300 different Mercedes-Benz models, the world's greatest assembly of rare, unique 80s and 90s AMG and Tuna Mercedes cars. We're going to be joined today by Vico and Daniel, the founders and owners of the Patina Collective, to take in not only the rare models that you see right here, but also to head over to the warehouse, which features rows upon rows of unique machines to take a look at. We're talking everything from a royal family of Brunei SL73 through to the collection including three of the S72 coupes there were only seven of them we have the 1000 SEL based on the 500 SEL with the nose of the 600 Pullman we have the previously owned by Jamiroquai 190 Evo 2 there are so many cars all with their own stories so who better to show us around than the guys behind the patina collective let's go get started and let's take it all in Hey Vico. How you doing buddy? Hey Daniel, how's, how's it going? Man? Good, good. Well, thank you for having me. Can I just say what a place you guys have put together. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to have you here today. Yes. Well, this is, this is the start. We're gonna head over to the warehouse as well, I believe. Yep. This is just a small taste. This is like a, a starter, basically. The appetizer for yeah. you. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we begin? What do we look at? I mean, it's up to you. You wanna pick a side. You can start on the red side over here. We can start over here with the, the wagons, a lot of right-hand drive cars. Yeah, I noticed that. I've noticed loads of cars that you've, cause I mean, you're, you're building a collection of cars that have come from around the world. Yes. Yeah, we're picking up things from other collectors uh, that they've kind of trusted us with to take on as we kind of move forward in our journey towards museum. And we found a lot of amazing cars out there ourselves, rescued them from all sorts of places and bringing them back to life for, uh, for everyone to see. That's so cool, because this is all part of growing the Patina Collective collection, but opening the museum next year as well. 100%. Which is so exciting. Yep. So, I mean, let's begin over here. Let's, yeah. let's head to the, the line of red cars. All right. Because you oh. have... You have Koenig specials, ABC specials. You've got all we got it all. all we got it all. So starting right here, we got the Lorenzer W201 press car. So this car came out of the UK, right-hand drive car, very special. It's on uh, grace the front of a few magazines, actually. Pretty famous car in the community over there. So uh, a red car. Uh, we love red, as you can tell. This whole yeah. wall is red over here. Um, we're going to go through the cars kind of faster than usual since there's so much to, to cover. Uh, over here, we got another special car from the UK, a Stratton build, actually, right-hand drive car. This car came out of Scotland, actually. Really? Um, yep, it has a 3.2 liter AMG engine, wide body C124, which is considered a baby hammer. Um, you know, the hammer version of this car yeah. goes upwards of $700,000. So special car, definitely right here. For sure. Next to it, a 1000 SEC, another Stratton build. Another right-hand drive car, another UK car. Uh, this car is pretty famous in the Mercedes community as well over there. Uh, it was recently unearthed from uh, a barn find basically out in the UK. Uh, glad to have it over here at the Patina Collective. Um, next to it, uh, one of my favorite cars to drive. This car is insane. Uh, it's called the Red Demon. That's what we uh, gave it the moniker. This thing is loud. This thing is insane. It's very, very bright. It's red, it's a Koenig Special. <laughs> I was gonna it's say, SEC. grill this, spot immediately. Yes, you got the KS on the front here, 24 karat gold. This car came out of um, Japan originally. It was black, but it made its way to the Middle East where it got this red paint job. Love this car. Um, take this car all the time to the beach, drive it around. <laughs> it's loud, it's insane. Everyone breaks their neck when they see it. That's so cool, it's spotting yeah. things that they did, like the, the big wing over the, uh, the yep. chocolate back there. Yeah, you got the wing on this one and you got the wing on the next one next to it, which is a four door version of this car. This car also came out of uh, the Middle East. Abu Dhabi has a whole uh, interior done up. Uh, this car was all built for us at the Patina Collective. So that whole interior was custom made. Uh, Italian white leather with red piping. Everything wow. else is white. You got uh, white Alcantara on the roof, white dashboard, very, very special stuff, red <laughs> seatbelts. That's really cool inside. Yep. <laughs> Next to it, we got a C123. This is a press car also. This is another Lorenzer build, right-hand drive car, very, very special car from the UK. A lot of provenance this car has. Um, it's won awards, I believe, out there, and it has a lot of uh, press done on it, so a lot of coverage on this car. So um, how much time do you spend taking in all the details of all of these? To know I mean, everything? it's a lifestyle. 
So it's like we don't really keep track of how many breaths we take in a day, right? We don't no, keep, no. So this is basically the same concept. This is We live it, we breathe it, we don't really keep track of it. Me and Daniel, we're always looking at cars, we're always sending each other cars around the clock. I might wake up, he sent me a car at 4 in the morning, I send him a car at 6 in the morning. Yeah. It's really Because Benz is such a global market, we get stuff from all the time coming to us 24-7. We get people reaching out to us in the UK, Europe, Abu Dhabi, Japan. All the time we get people asking us about certain cars, so it's a, it's a real global deal, which we're always up 24-7 doing it. Speaking of the UK, we got four UK cars right in your vicinity, right here, two behind you, two in front of you. Right here we got a wide body, uh, 3.4 liter AMG. This car actually came from Japan originally, but was in the UK when we purchased it from a prominent UK collector. We won't say his name right now, but many, many people know his car, so I'm sure a lot of guys will pick up when they see some of the cars in this room right now. Okay. About, about four or five six of his cars are in this room right now interesting um, well i've got one question about this yes the a falter back crest on the nose here uh -huh. was that original yes this is original a lot of people think this is not original this is actually the original amg logo from back back in the day they used to use this a lot so this has a lot of uh, meaning to the company um if you look at it um there's actually a tree an orange tree i believe this is and then there's um this is a part of the engine right there so it's definitely real, it's definitely on point. A lot of people ask us, are these real? Because you know, China produces a lot of stuff and it looks like aftermarket, but this is not aftermarket. You might believe it is, but it's oh, so it's rare that you think it's aftermarket. I was gonna say, because I think even AMG themselves didn't realize this. Yes. Because on the new C63S e performance, uh -huh. they have now gone to having the Volta back crest. Right. And go. they've said that it's the first time they've ever done it. Yes. Well, it was there. <laughs> I mean, maybe they mean in the recent years and their new, uh, this is probably, pre this is all considered pre-merger. Yeah, So true, this yeah. is pre-merger AMG and AMG and Mercedes is kind of two different companies. But That's even true. now so, they're realizing the best yeah. of their stuff was back then. So they're kind of doing a callback to it now. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's their new golden era they're trying to bring now and this was <laughs> the golden era for tuning. Really was. Next to it, we got uh, one of the two ever made right hand drive AMG uh, hammers. This has a 117 six liter engine, which is very important engine in the Mercedes world. Uh, this engine makes a car go from uh, 200,000, 100,000 to about $800,000. There it is right there, the 117 six liter, which creates uh, uh, a lot of power and actually makes a car a hammer. So, But they only made two right-hand drive ones? Only two right-hand drive ones from Germany. They made other right-hand drive cars, we're sure, but this is produced at AMG Germany, uh, which is uh, in 1987, 86, so this is pre-merger. Uh, made in Germany for the right-hand drive market. This one actually went to uh, South Africa. Interesting, very yes. interesting. In front of them, uh, two more UK cars. I'm standing between two 190 Evos. 190E <laughs> Evo 2s, very special cars. This one actually belonged to JK, Jamir Acquired, the artist from the UK. And this one actually is called the 50 pound Evo. If you guys check out our channel, we have a whole video about it. Uh, subscribe to the channel, Patina Collective. Um, this car is, uh, very special, uh, one of 500 ever made, and this one as well. This one's in mint condition. It was owned by Jamiroquai, JK, who is a, a prominent collector, uh, period. He has a lot of great cars. Uh, here's signature right there on the glove box. You can see it right there. He wrote Evo. That's so cool. Yep, JK's super cool. signature on the glove box. So basically what well, we have these two cars here, we have a perfect example and we have uh, an example we rescued and that's what the Patina Collective is all about, uh, Patina. So this car has a lot of Patina on it. You can tell by the paint and this car sat uh, somewhere in uh, the UK for a while, for about 20 years. And the guy waited for the right time and he sold it for six figures. Congratulations. To him. <laughs> so at one point it was a 50 pound car. 50 pounds. So the car was actually, we'll give you a quick rundown, but we want you to go to see the full story. The, basically the car was sent off to be wrecked and the guy spotted it on the highway or on the road. He and He flagged him down, waved him down, chased him down. The <laughs> truck driver thought he was being robbed. Yeah. And then he actually said, let me buy this car off you. So it yeah. worked out. So he gave him whatever he had in his pocket at the time and that happened to be 50 pounds. And so. now it's worth six figures, it's crazy. Another right-hand drive UK car, another special build right here. This is an AMG W123 rally car. Uh, super special car right here. Um, has a special motor in it, an M103 engine that was actually swapped in later. Um, 3.2 liters AMG engine, um, pretty cool. Same as that car right there, which is the Stratton car. So 
pretty cool car. Uh, one of the favorites in the collection. I love driving it. It's very nice. I put my dog in the back. <laughs> we go different places. This car has been through a lot. It was actually on rallies. It has a rally uh, PA system and all that. Mm -hmm. So it's an official build right here. This is kind of cool, actually. You guys do drive all the cars. Drive all the cars. <clears throat> Everything gets driven. Yeah. I tend to like the S-Classes and 140s more because it's a bit more spacious. Yeah. Also, the R129s are pretty good, uh, but Vico drives everything. So yeah. <laughs> I'm more partial, but also we look at them both as things we can drive, but also real pieces of art that capture this era that was just so insane in time. Yeah, yeah it's and, a big cultural thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's car collecting, but it's also the culture of Mercedes-Benz from this era. 100%. And like I was telling you earlier off camera, uh, we couldn't really do a collection like this with any other car because no other car has this many different tuners uh, do so many different models. So it's pretty cool. And also uh, about driving the cars, they look much nicer out and about under palm trees at the beach. And, oh yeah. And it's just that much different. Uh, we, that's why we're bringing such an impactful um, thing with what we're doing is because we're actually driving them. People see them on the road. They hit us up. Oh my God, I just seen the Koenig on the road. It looked incredible, yeah. et cetera. So I've right been enjoying here. some of the videos on the Patina Collective channel when you take some of these things out. Look at this thing. So the arches on this are another, insane. Another car that we take out that blow people's minds is this thing right here. Uh, C124 ABC exclusive. You've probably never seen it in your life. You probably didn't even know it existed. Here it is. Crazy fins that run into the door. Testarossa style, yeah. which actually got ABC exclusive um, sued and out of business. So that's why there's so little of these cars ever made okay. because they actually got sued by Ferrari for mimicking the Testarossa sides right there. Kind of makes sense. And the car behind is another Yeah, that's well, another ABC exclusive. Uh, we'll, we'll get to that in a second. This one actually has um, special interior Recaro seats and it has a manual transmission, very, very smooth clutch, a joy to drive and a special SEC front. So you can see right here, it's Okay. I'm covering the headlights. Yeah, because normally it would be a, yeah. a narrow. The grill. headlights go all the way up to here. You can see right there. <laughs> yeah. So everything has. Uh, we could be here for days talking about the specifics and the little quirks of these cars, but you know. I love these details, and I love your knowledge of it all. Thank you so this much. This is amazing. <laughs> we love it. Right here next to it, we got a special, special car. This was built uh, for uh, in dedication to Princess Diana. This is the 1000 SEL, coached, built by a special company in the UK, actually. So um, this car right here has gold accents in the interior, uh, 24 karat gold accents all in the interior. It has uh, fur, real fur on the floors. Yeah, sheep's, sheep's uh, wool on the floors. Yes, you have a <laughs> very, very special dash. Everything is custom made on it. The dash, uh, very special car, has a special pearl paint and the front of a Pullman 600 put on the front of a 126, so. It was a much more yeah. finished, like diplomatic look. They wanted to blow people's minds. And so the car is actually called Diana Car and Driver. And it was found in the Middle East and owned by a, a shake out there. We're actually doing another story behind, uh, behind this one for the museum as well. So we're building cool. a little docu-series in the future on this one. So that's another thing that um, the, the collection's about. It's not only the cars, it's the cars and the people who own them. So yeah. that's why uh, we'll be doing a lot of deep dives on the channel, on the YouTube channel, talking about each car specifically and the owners and the guys crazy enough to build these cars. <laughs> and when we do the museum, when we have them on exhibit, it'll, it'll be the same type of feel. And I know if we head to the back of this, yes, sir. it does say 1,000. SEL. Yep. <laughs> that's something that's not really seen often. Uh, so there that's it is right there. That's quite fun, isn't it? There's a few of these in the collection. We have a few 1000 SELs you'll see when we head over to the big warehouse. Even with so, all the gold detailing all around the exterior. Yep, gold all around. Uh, they did whites all the way into the trunk. Everything is oh, custom. Wow. <laughs> Everything is white, even in the trunk. So they spared nothing <laughs> making these cars. That's amazing. Um, moving along, if you want, we can go to this car right here. We this gold car right here, which is a very special car. This is the SGS Gullwing, one of 57 ever produced. Gullwing doors. Gullwing doors, they go up, um, all hydraulic system. You press a button, the door closes while you're inside the car, very special. You also have another uh, button on the side of the door right there, if you see right behind the, the, the doorknob right there. Yeah. That button actually closes the door from the outside. Very, very special car. Wow. Um, this I car, guess it needs a bit more space to open. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we yes, can we can't open it today, but um, <laughs> this car, one of them just actually went on auction for upwards of 400,000 euros a couple days ago. So we're very proud to have about six in the collection. Wow. So out of the 57 ever made. That's incredible. Next this, to it, this yes, is awesome. another one of the most beautiful SEC um, builds ever made. This is an ABC exclusive that came out straight from Japan. 
So this car took uh, a lot of effort to get out of Japan. This car was actually offered on a website, but only to the military and only to a resident of Japan. So we had to do a couple things, get our guys <laughs> on the ground over there to go get it. But look at this thing. I mean, it's not the most perfect ABC exclusive you'll ever see. So yes, literally. This is the ideal example that's out there. Yeah, everything molded right here. This is all special uh, work. This is not stuff you usually see yeah. on these cars. So the car is very, very beautiful, mint condition, and has a very striking body to it. Uh, the back says wide body and gold lettering. Incredible car. You take this thing out any day of the week, people are like <laughs> breaking their necks. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So next to it, we have one of three, the silver uh, one of three Benny S's. This is called the Benny S. This car, another extremely wide car. The back of this car is just stupidly wide. <laughs> Look at that insane arches on it they were trying to make like an indie type uh they want to make an indie pace car yeah. looking car yep uh, with the euro market so that's why the huge arches and the red interior yeah and you have the red striping here which has we have the same thing on the back um sadly we can't see it right now but it looks really incredible if you guys check out our patina collective uh instagram we put up reels every day where we feature all these cars you can get a better look at them um next to it we have um, one of the first hammers that we bought uh, when we started collecting. This was actually the second one we bought. Uh, wide body SEC, once again, 117 six liter engine. This car went from a couple hundred thousand when we purchased it to now being upwards of seven, eight hundred thousand. This is in a couple years. So we're proud to have this one in the so collection. It's AMG Japan. So it's an AMG yep. Japan fully documented car. And uh, we felt like we paid a full number for it back then. But now it's just taken off where these cars are untouchable. So yeah. real AMG Hammer M117 engine in it. Yes, and when you see the, the silver, these cars don't often come in silver. You see the wide body so much more pronounced yeah. on the silver. Usually these cars- are Black or dark gray. Or yes, yes, black or, or dark blue or dark gray. Um, next to it, I mean, another I very, very special car. Next? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That's oh, bright. I mean, we'll come to that, we'll come yeah, to that. We'll come to that. We'll Let's go. talk about the G-Wagon that doesn't yeah. look like a normal G-Wagon. So this is a unicorn right here. This is one of six, one of seven ever made. Um, AMG G wagons with a, a front of a 123 and a 116. So it's a mix and match front. They put the grill of a one W123 and the lights of a W116. This also has a special bumper. If you look right here, this has the AMG insignia, which you never see on a bumper like this because this bumper is custom made for this build. This car was built actually for Ivan Lindell, the champion tennis player from the 1980s. He went to uh, the factory and he saw a G-Wagon at the time, which was fairly new to the market in the early 80s. And he just couldn't wrap his head around the look of the front. He didn't like it. It was he very said, vulgar. People have a G-Wagon in the US. They thought it was vulgar at the time. So yeah. he's the only one that ever did this for the US market. And most of the cars you see look like this. The other five or six were all sent to the Middle East. Yep. So um, we haven't had a Hartmut here from Rentec who worked at AMG at the time. Yeah. He said he has never seen one of these since they left the factory. Yeah, wow. in 30 years. So he's, he was very shocked to see it. Um, this car, the way we bought it was really funny. Uh, it was in a parking garage in an ad on Craigslist and there was a car in the ad and then this car was like in a parking garage and uh, one of our mechanics, uh, Pierre Hideri, who was actually a, a huge guy in the Mercedes uh, uh, community, he sent it to us, says, look at this, what do you think this is? And all we saw was the front of a sedan, but we saw the line of a G-Wagon and it was very confusing. We tracked down the seller, we asked him, do you know this car? And then we ended up tracking it down. Very, very <laughs> special car. There's actually um, a documentary coming out on this car on the channel, so look out for that. Ivan Lindell G-Wagon build. This needs to be talked about because this is very yellow. 100%. This right here, guys, very special car. They never made the R129 SLs in yellow. So this has a special color code, believed to be from the SLKs. And it has a special interior, all yellow interior and yellow wood. This is actually a Carlson built car. Um, obviously, this car has been driven. You can see by the seats, it has some wear and tear. We will be restoring this car, but uh, we drive it all the time. Uh, I just took it out a few days ago, did some reels for the channel and for uh, the YouTube uh, Instagram. But yeah. All yellow wood, Carlson tuned, a 600 SL that has the M120 V12, produces a lot of power. This car is very, very fast. You have your phone right here, just in case you want to call. Um, <laughs> what a thing. Incredible I, car. Just yellow overload, by the way. This car, we actually have the in period magazine on this being entered in a car competitions, right? Oh, okay. So Carlson had their own builds and they also did cars they did for their suppliers, people, or for their, uh, their vendors, people that bought pieces. This is a very special build they put together and it's all documented in, in uh, German literature. 
Right now we're talking to some guys to try to uh, get the, the wood redone here. Um, a lot of these cars, they have one-off things done to them, which is hard to find uh, reproductions of. Mm -hmm. So we're really trying to preserve everything to the original state, but also have someone that can rework this stuff. Definitely. Next to us right here, we got another special Kunik Special. This is a 126 C126. They actually called it the Sun King. So this is a convertible. So this car was originally a coupe. They cut the top off. This car was never made into a convertible. Uh. This is a custom made convertible. So it's basically um, this car with the roof cut off. <laughs> and um, they made it into a convertible and then they made it into a Koenig Special. They put some very deep dish BBS wheels on it with some gold in there. This big insane we uh, this is a big insane wing on the back. So the wheels, the body kit, the wing make it very, very unique. And uh, this is another car that I might go to the beach with and have people just like very confused. And this came out before all the Batman movies in the 90s, right? So this is a, this is all just a very special just extreme the, modification. The original Batmobile basically, yeah. guys. So um, that's just awesome. Yeah, yeah, we love it. It's in the collection and we drive it as much as possible. Right here in this corner, we're going to talk about these three cars, starting with this one right here. This is another Koenig Special, very, very special car, R129, with a beautiful paint on it. It's like an almondine uh, paint, it's called. It has beautiful wide body, all uh, same color matching interior and instrument cluster. This car is very loud and uh, mm -hmm. it's very beautiful. Great, great car to you take out. this one in Germany. Yeah, this one was in Germany. Um, took us some time to get it out of there. Uh, another one of those cars that just sits around and people don't want to really touch it for some reason but then when we buy it everyone wants it so <laughs> it's really funny how that works you know yeah. yeah next to it another unicorn i know i keep saying that but this is a unicorn room is what it is so this is the only uh known um w201 kunik special so this car was rescued uh, in america actually we brought it back to life we had the kit taken off of the original car and put on another freshly uh brought in uh donor car which is a w201 very very beautiful car this has a very extreme look to it because it's such a small car with yeah. such a big kit on it the wide arches um, against the much shorter body length very beautiful midnight blue and then you got these crazy yellow um lights right here these hellas that's what they're called and it just changes the whole look of the front um we love this car it just came in it was being built for over a couple of years uh on the channel so you guys can check that out next to it we have one of the s72s that me spoke about uh in the beginning of the of the interview um this car right here is one of seven the lowest mileage s72s in the world it has just under nine thousand kilometers so the, so the s72 coupe yes is a bit of an unusual and unknown car. Yes, very, very unknown. Most of them never came to the US. Most of them went to Japan and the Middle East and some in Europe, very rare, but most of them are in Japan. But you had to be a hyper VIP hyper. Mercedes customer to get Yes, you were paying upwards of two, 300,000 or something in period just to get the full upgrade of the engine, the body kit. The rarest AMGs in the world, uh, we believe are the C140s. Um, the C126s, which is the silver car we showed you right here with the hammer engine, those are more common. There's a lot more on the market. These are a lot more rare, especially when you're going up of uh, 7.2s and 7 liter displacements. Yeah. You're looking very rare cars. We actually, while we were filming this interview, uh, another rare W140 S70 just arrived, which uh, That's so cool. <laughs> we had stored in Europe for over six years waiting for it. Daniel actually bought that car uh, seven years ago before we met, and it was really, really interesting. At this point, out. I'm going to say that I've been here for for about an hour and you've had three new cars delivered already yes, yes. and there's one last one on the way yes. um, a normal day at the that's just a normal day that's over on your channel if you buy 300 cars in less than a couple of years they're going to arrive so yeah. that's that's what we're dealing hopefully, with right hopefully. now uh, right here we have another special car um as you can see i was putting air in the tire because i drive this car uh, often and uh, we like to keep it raw here guys show you guys that we're actually living with these cars and not just uh, garage queens this car came out of the uk um bought it from uh, england i believe uh, uh sorry london i believe um right hand drive red interior super super beautiful paint it has pearl yeah. but it has a lot of patina on it you know the guy drove it the guy had it look you see right here there's a chunk missing in the body kit <laughs> so the guy was driving it he loved it we're going to restore this one but this is a very 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 fun car to drive right hand drive super loud pipes uh pearl paint kunik special kit red rims like everyone's looking everyone's confused um, next to it, we have the SL73, a true, true, true unicorn. This car came straight out of the family of Brunei. This car belonged to the Sultan of Brunei, one of the most uh, uh, crazy collectors in the world. Um, 
So we're gonna pop the hood right now and show you guys this special motor that goes into the Pagani Zondas. Yeah, this is the 7.3 tuned uh, AMG motor. This is number 52 right here. Uh, you see right there, Royal Family of Brunei. Very, very special car. Special. This is what dreams are made of. This is the car that uh, I used to dream about many, many years ago. I never thought I would see it in my life. Yeah. Daniel never thought he would see it in his it life. A, it was a diplomatic car brought yeah. to the United Kingdom, so we actually got this car out of London. Yep. So as you can imagine, Brunei cars don't often leave, but when yeah. they do, they have to go to somewhere where they're friendly, and so they're very friendly to them in the UK, at least in the, at least in the 90s. So that's where we pulled it out of an uh, ambassadorship out of Yeah, right-hand drive car. We actually do have a direct link now to the Sultan of Brunei. We're actually getting other cars from his collection, but this one came already via someone else through the, the Sultan's collection. It is kind of the most mysterious collection in the world but obviously lots of parts of it are known yeah. especially the mercedes elements right um huge numbers of mercedes cars in the yeah he has crazy collection. crazy cars we're looking for a lot of rare cars that only were built for the sultan and uh, that's what's cool about mercedes is um, they did so many different builds for so many different eras and so many different people that the rabbit hole really never ends and it's kind of very interesting <laughs> as, as vico said earlier you have to be someone really special in order to get these cars out of Mercedes and out of AMG. You couldn't just be a regular guy walking into dealership with a briefcase of money, they wouldn't sell to you. You had to buy millions and millions of dollars of cars en masse, and then they would sell you an S72 mm -hmm. or an SL73. So it's like trying to get a Ferrari date like, now. <laughs> yes. it's, like a, it's like a normal day at Ferrari, you know? <laughs> and the thing is, like I said, like we said earlier, um, that's why we want to emphasize on the guys who own the cars, not just the cars, because that's what makes it that much more interesting because these people were special guys and they had a special vision in mind. Just like the guy who built this car right here, who was a chic in the Middle East, and he liked all his cars with a white interior. So this C140 right here with this beautiful uh, red burgundy paint. It's an AMG, AMG special order. This is a special AMG order with red wood on the inside. Yeah, you, you see on the steering wheel and all around, you got red wood. You have real AMG seats. You can see the AMG logo right there on the seat. Very rare. Um, this car has a refrigerator in the back. It has six, oh, no way. <laughs> it has six tailpipes, which makes it very, very beautiful and extreme but a very shocking car nonetheless. Uh, next to it, we have one of one and also one of seven S72s. This is the second one in the collection. We have three S72s out of the seven ever produced coupes. This one has a wide body in the back. This one came out of Japan. The wide body, we're not too sure who made it, but it's beautiful. Uh, one of the nicest cars from the back, the, the ass on this thing is gorgeous. <laughs> and uh, honestly, it's so fun to drive. It's very fast and has a lot of power. Um, next to it, my favorite wagon in the collection, another car that I love to drive well, often, often, often. Uh, one of the first cars we acquired when we started the collection. Um, this is the Ichigoya E36, right-hand drive Japanese wagon with uh, wide body flares and a special tune from a very unknown tuner in Japan called Ichigoya. I'm pretty sure this is the first day Tim hears that word. <laughs> so uh, we're teaching him a lot today about these cars. This is one of the favorites in the collection. This is another unicorn, another extreme car. That was crazy about this car is that like if you go in the back seat in the trunk there's a huge subwoofer built in right, right by where the family would sit backwards right so you can imagine in the 90s uh people in japan cramping into this car driving around as actually a tuner car so it's super fast it has subwoofers in it and it has cigarette burns in the back seat <laughs> ashtray so you can used. imagine it was used yeah. yakuza activity whatever it is but we like looking at the car and understanding the period it was in where it was driven so imagine this car in tokyo you know, in the early 90s, it's an amazing thought. Yeah, so sure. moving on to the last car right now in the showroom, um, when me and Daniel started collecting in early 2021, we actually bought all these cars in under two years, guys, believe it or not, 300 Mercedes. Um, this one right here is um, another Koenig Special. So what we were doing is we were buying every single Koenig Special we came across for a long time. So uh, we have a lot of repetition in the collection, but it's still a special car nonetheless. This car actually belonged to a female driver, uh, she loved it she treated it nicely um out of germany out of germany has a beautiful burgundy top a uh, special redone interior all gray but nonetheless just another koenig special in the collection i know it kind of gets repetitive but <laughs> it's someone's dream car you know it's just right here Definitely. so uh if you want we have a few more cars outside yep. that are sitting right now we might as well talk about them while we're, we're going to have a, a quick look at those i've yes. just got to say before we head out though yep. the flooring the lighting the yes. cars in here so we wanted to uh kind of display the cars like jewelry you know yeah. and uh we have uh we did this uh, with a different mindset than you know uh typical car guys and people that do uh, car stuff yeah. we did it from you know uh, daniel has a different background i have a different background we're not always been into cars so we used our like daniel used to own an art gallery back in the day 
I'm a musician, I do music stuff. So we kind of blended that together and made this very visually appealing for we the world. We say we're not car guys, we're Mercedes guys. Yeah, so we're, we're showing them as we would have wanted to see them in the 80s on marble floor in yeah. South Florida. You know? yeah. So very awesome. different feeling. We love it. We love coming in here and it's very rewarding coming in here every day. It's like trophies, you know? Definitely. Let's um, go and see what's... So here we have more special cars back here. Uh, this is the Kugok. So we showed you the SGS, that gold gullwing in there that's built by Styling Garage, which is a company in Germany who built uh, many, many, many extreme builds in uh, the 80s and 90s. This car actually came out of the Middle East. What happened was SGS was actually based in uh, Saudi Arabia for a few years in the 80s because that's so many clients in the Middle East, they figured they'd move the company there. But then the company got a lot of restrictions put on it by the Saudi government and they got put out of business. And what happened was, they sold a lot of the parts for these cars to the Saudis and the Saudis started their own company called uh, Kugok and they actually okay. built this car right here for King Abdullah Aziz yeah of, uh, King Abdullah Saudi Aziz of Saudi Arabia wow. and if you look right here it says Kugok built yep. into the spoiler so this is a very very rare unicorn another car Tim's never heard of in his life 100% nope. definitely so <laughs> I can say that confidently so here it is the Kugok um, very special car moving on um, right here guys this is the reality of what happened. Another car that came out of Abu Dhabi. So this is how we save these cars, you know. They don't all come pretty. This car had a big oil spill, sadly. Um, we but this- one out of literally a, a warehouse in the desert. Yeah, so this car is a right-hand drive AMG limousine. So this car Wait. came out of the UK. It's right-hand drive, full AMG kit, full AMG build, but it's actually a limousine. Um, what more can I say? Uh, check it out. <laughs> As you do, right? Yes, come check it out. <laughs> the car is obviously sitting out here. It's been sitting for a while. You got different options here. You can put the seats up or down. That's why I showed you this option here. You can have uh, full seating or a limo, limo style seating. See that? <laughs> Crazy. Right yep. So that's basically. Um, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool right there. <laughs> so you got a baby blue color. You got AMG. If you look right here, back here, you got the AMG wing. Yeah. You know, so. UK plate, I believe. This yes, I find it fascinating yeah. how many cars you have lurking on UK what you plates. Do, they would bring these cars from the UK to the Middle East and just drive them without a license plate on it in yep. certain areas. You just yes. drive them as they come. Yeah, because collectors, so, you know, collectors. like us. So yeah, we do yeah. the same thing. I'll put a dealer plate in the back windshield and we'll take it to the beach. <laughs> uh, right here, this is not a tuner car, but uh, this is still a rare car that I enjoy driving classics. This is a 1968. This is one of 67 230 S's ever made. This is actually a Fintail. So this is when uh, Mercedes was uh, uh, looking at the craze in the American market when they were making a lot of Fin cars and the Cadillacs and stuff. And they want to capitalize on that in the American market. So they made um, a Fin car. So this is one of the funner cars we're gonna have restored. Uh, we might do some fun stuff to it, but we wanna kind of keep it original. Next to it, we have an all uh, red uh, G-Wagon, another car that I daily uh, Brabus concept kind of. <laughs> Um, Quite literally all red, red yeah. grill, red People star, love this car, everything. has Brabus wheels. Oh, wow. Um, people love it wherever we go. Just another special build, you know, patina car. Yeah, I mean, G-Wagons are cool. Moving forward, another AMG car right here. This one came out of the Middle East. This actually came in a package with the limousine that we just saw back there, the baby blue one. This is another right-hand drive car, but this car actually has special paint on it. You don't really see this color on SCC's uh, AMG body kit, right-hand drive, AMG BBS wheels. Daniel, you want to talk about this one right here? Yeah, so this is my uh, one of my two dailies. I really drive a lot. <laughs> this is an E sixty three S wagon, taking a rent tech for a stage three tune. Uh, so it puts out about one thousand three, one thousand five horsepower at a one hundred um, casual. Yeah, casual. So thousand horsepower. I take my kids around in it. I burn through the tires pretty fast. We have a good time, and you know, when you live the lifestyle here of collecting all these cars, when it comes to something modern, we have to do something extreme. So yeah. that's why you know I love dailing it. Put about. Uh, 10,000 miles on in the last year, so really enjoy driving it. Epic. Yes, yeah. love this cool. car. Great. And this is actually the car, let's not skip over. Yeah. This is the car that Rentec used to actually uh, develop the new uh, the new tune for these engines. So this is actually cool. the prototype, basically. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, another car that just arrived today. This is actually very, very special, and very extreme right here. This is a R129 SL with one of the widest body kits I've ever seen in my life. This is, they say it's a Brabus wide body. And look at that. I've never it's seen anything wide like that. Extreme, <laughs> It reminds extreme. me of like Porsches. Yes, like the Porsche, Porsche yes, yes, exactly. How they do those uh, RW... RWBs. Uh, exactly, RWBs. 
This is how things come with the tires. Very well. similar. So, so this is another part of collecting, guys. You know, uh, dry rotted tires. We took the center cap off because we have to change the wheel. This actually, this tire doesn't fit the wheel. The wheel is so wide that the tire came off. Just another part of collecting. But if you see right here, you got all this molded. This is all molded in. This is all custom yeah. made. You'll never see this again. If you look at it from the front and from the back, it has a very extreme look. It's wide. So that's really wide. Very, very, very wide. So that's what the Patina Collective is all about. Collecting cars that we didn't even know exist. So we know you guys didn't know exist. And uh, we're just trying to bring that to the world. And that's what the museum is about is collecting them, but not just hoarding them and hiding them and putting them away. <laughs> Driving them, uh, showcasing them on the YouTube and channel. And bringing back the era. And bringing back the era. You guys can come visit and the museum hopefully in 2024. It's a very different era. Yes. to those things we love that thing another british plate yeah. another british but a currently plate. registered british yes. plate <laughs> so we're very very nice to the british companies and the british people we love everyone in britain so thank you guys. awesome shall we head over to the stadium yes let's do that let's, do let's go all see right, what's let's there go. let's go all right let's do this the stadium let's show you what we got over here oh my goodness <laughs> welcome to the mecca <laughs> the mecca so, of mercedes so this isn't all the cars in the collection this is uh maybe a little like a little bit over half or a little under half of the collection about 140 150 cars in this room right now i i i'm struggling to take in what i'm looking at right now it's quite because i'm seeing g-wagons yes all sorts of different things yes 190 yeah well evo one I, I, <laughs> Mind-boggling, very, very crazy. I know it takes a lot to... Uh... Can we like pick out some highlights? Can we yes. pick out some things? Let's go ahead. Should we just let's like randomly ahead. walk down yes. rows of cars? Sure, let's do Where that. do we begin? So let's go down this way if you would like. Come over uh, this way. We can start right here. We have uh, this, uh, first of all, we have the SL74 Rentec, the first SL74 yeah. Rentec. So we spoke about the SL73 that belonged to the Solna Brunei. This is the one after it, the SL74. Rentec was pushing the M120 to the highest limits, 7.4 liter engine. Here it is, the first one ever produced, 30,000 miles on it. Gorgeous, gorgeous example. That's Next crazy. to it, another R129 with a very special wide body on it. Um, this is a six liter 500 SL R129. This one was actually built for uh, the King of Jordan. So okay. this car was built for the Jordanian market, six liter 500 SL. But if you point to the back of this car, oh, you that's can wide. see how wide that looks. <laughs> you see the difference between here and then you could point that out right here. Look how small this oh, is. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this thing's like a, a foot wider than the standard car. <laughs> wide body car. Here we have- uh, Oh, that interior. Blue leather with green wood. Uh, well, that's unique. <laughs> another another unique SL. Behind it, we have another Koenig Special. Um, yeah. Behind that, we have another yellow uh, R129, custom made. Here we have a Brabus C-Class right here. You've probably never seen it before. Very, very okay. rare. Do you, do you know um, how many Koenig Specials you have? Around 20. That's around crazy. 20, or maybe a little more at this point. But every, I, I know every single car that I'm looking at here has a story, is a special car. Every car is special. We, we could spend... Years. Like Years. we could spend, a, we could make a 24 hour video walking 100%. around here. <laughs> 3.6 Brabus W202. No one's ever seen this car. It has a full Brabus interior, Brabus engine, and it's manual. This car right here, super special. Look at this, E36 with a crazy Aquaman green interior, wow. full green interior. So we could just pick and choose there's What's unicorns the for this. down there let's go down there and check it out <laughs> squeeze through <laughs> let's go check it out uh this is one of the few uh, uh alleyways you could walk through here because yeah. the cars are pretty jam-packed but on your right you're walking by a bulletproof guard oh. right here this is a guard car uh, inch thick but i mean thicker than an inch yes very very thick you got 500 pound doors this car has bomb proof front seats Right here we got a 450 SLC with gold accents, Recaro front and rear seats. Uh, yeah. This was a drug dealer special in the 80s for sure. <laughs> Somebody definitely had cocaine in the trunk of this car at some point. Uh, you know, it is what it is, guys. The nature of this era that these cars came from. Turbo Techniques W124 behind it, E34 uh, convertible, one of seven ever made, one of eight ever made. Um, Cosworth 190Es and so on and so forth. Let's walk down a little further. Walking over here, we got a Gen 2 Koenig Special. So you see a lot of Gen 1 Koenig Specials. I spoke about how they got sued by Ferrari because of the fins that uh, mimicked oh, yeah. the Testarossa. So this was the second uh, generation. They did a different type of style, more subtle, but still pretty cool. You won't really find these cars. This one came straight out of Japan. So what year was that? That's early uh, 90s. This is the early 90s. So um, in the early 80s and the mid 80s and the late 80s, they did the other style. And then in the 90s, they switched it up to this style. Okay. Um, 
Behind it, we got a 600 SGS limousine from the Sheikh <laughs> of Marbella. This car has also the Pullman front, like the white limousine that we yeah. had in the in the showroom. The blue very on blue. special, yeah, very special, very special. Blue on blue, all blue interior. Um, we could be here for days talking about all these cars. <laughs> uh s123 wagon amg right hand drive from the uk another special build this is a baby hammer straight from spain 3.4 liter uh baby hammer so the next one would be the six liter wide body this is the one right before it uh 500 sl r107 amg next to it we have a 450 slc um Koenig special with the special wave on the side red interior this car was actually a movie car it was, was in a say. movie in um, Europe, very special car. That thing stands out, that's pretty cool. But very, the car very next cool. to it, what's yeah, the car next to it? Very special car. Yeah, when we walked in here, this is one of the first cars uh, that people notice every time. Uh, people love this thing. This is called a Schultz Grecki. So they took a 190E, which uh, you guys have seen many times, but this is a whole different renderation of it. Look at it, a whole different <laughs> this, rendering. Yeah. They changed the whole front with the fins. They got a wide body on it. They got crazy fog lights on it. It has a manual transmission, different mirrors, for quad pipes. This thing's a beast. It makes crazy power. Very, <laughs> very big car. Next to it, you guys saw the all yellow Carlson R129. Well, this is an all blue R129 with uh, blue leather, blue carpeting, blue dash, blue everything, uh, blue paint, obviously, crazy sound system. SLC Koenig Special behind it. Right here we have the lowest mileage 560 SEC 6.0 hammer in the world. This has around 4,000 kilometers on it, uh, a little under 5,000 kilometers. Very, very special car. Um, this is the hammer. The hammer. So this one is mint condition. Uh, oh, it's clean. Barely ever been driven. You guys could see the service tags from the original <laughs> owner. The, they're crispy. This engine has not been warm too many times. Very clean engine. So and right next to it. I yeah. love the color of that G-Wagon convertible. Beautiful, beautiful G-Wagon convertible, uh, beautiful burgundy. Right here we have one of the most rare W126 uh, wagons in the world uh, built by SGS. Um, they never made a wagon in this car, which is the S-Class of the 80s. Ah. So uh, SGS took it upon themselves to make one. Here it is, uh, one of the few in the world. 7.3 S Brabus uh, W140, super rare unicorn this is a full right. maze of mercedes <laughs> this is a this is one of the best most powerful 7.3 liter engines in the world uh take a quick look at it since you guys don't get to see these much ever in the wild here it is beast brabus boys we love to see them we love to buy them we love to drive them <laughs> right here we got the gambala so this car uh, came out of uh, the Grand Canary Islands. Super, super special car. Uh, pearl paint, full gimbal interior, gimbal steering wheel. You know what it is, special stuff. Next to it, we got the Pagoda. This car is going to Slang 500. Uh, he's one of our friends. He builds a lot of special Gullwing type cars out of the West Coast. Check him out right now on Instagram. Check so, out his builds. It's the same as the Gullwing you have. No, different. different so he takes the older Gullwings from the 50s and he makes retro builds with them. Oh, very, okay. very special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cool. Very special stuff. So Pagoda. you guys should check him out. Right here, another unicorn, 190E W201, turned from a sedan to a coupe to a convertible. So this car <laughs> has been through it. This car has been through a lot of plastic surgery. You see right here, special hood something that doesn't belong but it goes great what do you feel about this one i mean it's awesome i love that it's had multiple different lives so cool i'm right? just looking around I, g wagons ever this is i i i kid in a candy store <laughs> look we haven't showed you a lot of limousines yet here's another 1000 sel limousine if you look right here full custom interior you have gray wood white leather red piping red carpets okay you come back here same deal in the back you have curtains you have full white leather all italian this is all custom made for the guys at Patina. As you can tell, beautiful leather interior, gray wood, <laughs> television, VCR. You can watch your favorite VHS. <laughs> so we're gonna go right now and walk through one of the alleys over here. Uh, watch your step. We're gonna go through the Mercedes maze. <laughs> Starting with these two Brabus cars, W220, 5.8 Brabus, and another Brabus B55 C-Class right here. Unicorns in their own right. And we have two very very special cars right here these are actually pickup trucks uh, one of them came out of japan one of them came out of germany so uh we'll walk down here and talk a little bit more about these cars as we go so the the two pickup trucks uh this one came out of japan it's a fully amg car it has three doors so it has 
two doors on one side and one door on the other side. Okay. So the other door, the back door that they kept from the original sedan is used for storage. Right. And this side, there's no door, it's just all molded together and only the passenger side door. Right here, we have a CLK Kleeman, fully built Kleeman car. This car has a very, very crazy engine, super fast, super powerful, fully done interior, special wheels, special body kit. This car is special all around, lots and lots of power. Behind it, we have a W210 with an inline six and a turbo build. This thing makes 800 horsepower. So this car is super, super fast. I was given special instructions when I bought this car to not push it too crazy. So we haven't really uh, gotten to it right. We gotta retune it a bit for the US market because it's different fuel emissions and stuff from Germany. So definitely special. Uh, going back to this pickup truck right here, this is a SGS pickup truck that was built by uh, SGS Germany. This car was actually used in Germany as a Hearst. So people would load up caskets in the back and you would go to your final destination in style. <laughs> uh, right here, S65, very special, obviously. Behind it, an S600 Rentec. This has a special Rentec tune, bought from one of the engineers that works at Rentec. I've, I, it was actually his personal car. Right here, Another special build. Um, I know I say special a lot, but that's the nature of this collection. Everything <laughs> is special. This is an E62 W210 Lorenzer. So this car is uh, very, very special. It has a tuned engine by Lorenzer, 6.2 liters out of the M119, which is uh, basically the later engine that they used in the hammers in the 90s. But this is a 6.2 liter, super special. Coming up to this car right here, this is an AMG limousine with a carrot interior. So this is a Karat du Châtelet interior, all red interior. Check it out, we have a Cartier clock inside. This has a full Karat interior. So if you see the leather, everything's special. Uh, TV, uh, if you look up top right here, you have special um, CD players and decks and stuff, yeah. and equalizers at the top. <laughs> Very reminiscent of the 80s. Right here, another special car, a Brabus. This is another Brabus build right here, 3.6 liter Brabus, uh, full Brabus car from the US, actually picked this one up in the US. Um, you know, W210s are great cars, but Brabuses are very hard to find. What about uh, all the G-Wagons? Yeah, G-Wagons, I mean, look, we got, this is the Pook. This is the first V8 off the assembly line uh, press car. So this is a very, very special car. It's Pook. If you look at the, at the yeah. front, there's no Mercedes logo. It's a Pook logo. So this is a very special one. Behind it, we have the single overhead cam uh, Hammer uh, 500 GE, one of 12 ever made. So this car has the M117 with a single overhead cam, but it's a six liter engine. Very, very special. V8, very, very rare. Uh, Another one, car that stands out to me, by the way, yes, R63. R63 is one <laughs> of the it. fastest, one of the fastest minivans in the world. Uh, basically, a race engine inside a minivan. Uh, very, very few units. They say that's <laughs> one of the most rare AMGs in the world, yeah. and we believe it. Uh, in front of it, ML58 Brabus. So that's a 5.8 Brabus uh, ML, super rare. Uh, we wish we could pull it out and show it to you right now. So many cars <laughs> in the collection. I feel like if you need to pull a car out from here, yeah. I mean, I don't know how you do I it. Mean, the, it's actually easier than it looks, but uh, we have it set up to be able to pull cars out. Um, as, as, a row as, by row. Yeah, as, as much as we can. And uh, there's cars in every angle that are special in this, in this place. So you can literally put a blindfold on, turn in a circle, point, <laughs> and you'll find a unicorn. I'm like so, squeezing yeah. out between the cars, just I mean, looking. It's, it's pretty incredible. Uh, managing this many cars has been quite a, a feat on its own, but we, we're doing it quite well. Um, yeah. We should stress that this is storage at the moment ahead of the museum. Yes. This is all the cars that are here that will be part of the exhibits and part of it all. All right, guys, so we don't only collect special cars, we collect special car parts as well. So right here, we have a lot of special, special wheels. So if you look in here, we have um, a lot of uh, period correct wheels from Brabus, from AMG. Um, very, very rare stuff from around the world. We have body kits on this side right here. So lots of stuff. The further back you go, the more wheels you encounter. BBS, dead stock BBS wheels. Um, wow. lots, of, lots of Brabus stuff. Uh, more Brabus wheels, more AMG wheels as we get back here. It's pretty, pretty crazy, guys. Uh, we have over 70 sets of wheels in here. I know it doesn't look like it, but yeah, so. We're collecting everything from 
rare wheels to rare parts. Uh, we have rare, look right here, we have AMG uh, wings to put on, on different cars, uh, all types of, you know. So we're doing it uh, very, very uh, thorough. We also uh, collect books. We have many, many books, a lot of literature on these cars, a lot of original parts, as you can see right here, headlights for C140s, uh, random headrests and stuff like that. So um, as the museum grows, we are looking to have uh, an archive of parts and an archive of books, which we want to make a, some sort of library to be able to look into the literature that goes into these cars. But for now, just to, I feel like wherever you look, there's something cool to take in. So we're trying to keep this shorter, shorter than we can for you guys. I mean, we could be here all day talking about these cars. Uh, obviously, there's so much to get into, but uh, Tim's only got so much time. <laughs> uh, we only got so much time in the day. But uh, we just want to, you know, thank everyone for coming into our world, the Patina Collective. Follow us on Instagram follow the YouTube channel, uh, follow the journey essentially to the museum and you're welcome to the museum in 2024. And we welcome everyone, especially our guy over here, Tim. Thank you so much for coming. Absolute in. pleasure. Really Thank you for showing it. me around. Thank of you, course, Daniel, as well. You guys yeah. are doing something completely unique, yep. something mega. I mean, it's taken me a couple of hours to even get my head around what's going on. But this is, this is amazing. Thank you so much, man. And uh, there's so many other special cars we'd love to show you today, but- you oh, know, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, you definitely have to come back. Thank you, man. Well, back over this side, just feast your eyes around this room. I've been gone for not very long and stepping back in, it is just a massive wow. This collective of cars that's been brought together by Vico and Daniel to assemble so many Tuna cars and AMGs, this 80s and 90s era, this period, all of these are unique. All of these are storied cars. All of them have something to tell you. We've seen cars from Koenig Special, ABC Special, Lorenzo, Gembala, Rentec, Brabus, loads of cars from different parts of the world that have come in from the Middle East, from Japan, from the UK, as I'm standing around a whole load of number plates that look very familiar to me out here, just to soak all of this up and to understand a bit as well from Vico and Daniel and to feel a bit of their passion for these. That's really what brought them together. Vico has been collecting these kind of cars for a while. Daniel's joined as well in that collection, in that hunt for the most incredible things they can bring together and now working on bringing Patina Collective to the masses through their channel, through the content that they're creating and through the museum that's going to be opening in a year or so as well. You could honestly spend hours and hours and hours or days or even weeks or months or years going through all of this. And that's why I find it so fascinating to learn about each car. And we've tried to do this in a matter of seconds. You'll have to follow the Patina Collective channel to find out more about everything, to be completely honest. And I'm hoping that I'll be able to return as well to try and uncover some of the secrets of different cars here to maybe grab one and go and focus on what's the story behind that? What's the deal of that particular car? For now though, wow. Wow is all I can say. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much to the guys, the team here who have made it possible to come in and share this with you. The world's greatest AMG and tuned Mercedes-Benz collection, I think, without a doubt, that you're gonna see like this. For now though, that's all. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I'll see you again very soon. Cheers.